Mr Speaker, it's, it's sort of housing crisis, what crisis, with this Prime Minister? He must be the only person in the country who thinks that enough houses have been built in the last 13 years. And whether it's those dreaming of getting the keys to their first home or those already with mortgages, the ambitions of families across the country have been crushed by his failing Tory government. Yeah. House building at its lowest rate since the war because he can't stand up to his own party. A Tory mortgage bombshell because they crashed the economy. Millions left without support because he won't make lenders put families first. Rather than lecturing the rest of the country and holding their nerve, why doesn't he try and locate his? Well, Mr. Mr. Speaker, as always, he hasn't actually taken the time to understand the detail of what we're doing. So, uh, again, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to I'm happy I'm happy to explain it again, Mr. Speaker, because it's right that we provide support for mortgage owners, which is why we improve the generosity of the support for mortgage interest scheme. It's why we've introduced a new mortgage charter, which, by the way, goes much more farther than the Labour Party policy on protecting mortgage holders does. On house building, we're proud to protect the green belt and invest millions more in developing brownfield sites. But, Mr Speaker, the simple truth is that's what I said I would do and that's what we've delivered and that is the difference between us. I deliver what I promise, he just breaks his.